Have you ever wondered why the mongoose can be bitten by poisonous snakes and be totally fine? Or why do they even fight in the first place? While the mongoose may be adorable and furry, this animal is far from harmless. The first time you probably heard of a mongoose was in the renowned children's storybook known as The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling as Ricky Tikki Tavi. In the book, the young mongoose protects the family from a cobra that would have likely killed the child. These feisty little snake hunters are fascinating. In this video, we are going to discuss some amazing facts about mongoose that will surely amaze you. We are all familiar with the enmity between mongoose and snakes, but the question is, how does a mongoose kill a snake, especially an opponent like a king cobra? The secret is in its speed and accurate bite. When a snake strikes, the mongoose leaps off. A mongoose will actually provoke a snake to strike repeatedly and keep dodging until the snake is tired. At that point, the mongoose will take a leap and aim directly for the snake's head. A perfect bite will crush the snake's skull, ending its story right there. Mongooses will happily eat snakes as dinner or lunch, and they actually tend to eat the whole snake, including its venom sac. In fact, when the snake venom is digested, it causes no harm to the mongoose. That's because, the venom of a snake needs to be injected into the blood of the victim, to become lethal. The neutralized snake cannot do that and hence, its venom just becomes the gravy of the meal for mongoose. Did you know that 80% of the times in cobra versus mongoose fights, the mongooses emerge victorious? However, not all mongooses will attack king cobras. Usually, the grey mongoose and the slender mongoose are the two species that take on the deadly and swift king cobras. As we said earlier, mongooses are omnivores, and while they have a liking for snake diets, they do eat other things including worms, insects, frogs, small reptiles, birds, rodents, seeds, nuts, and fruits. They even enjoy bird eggs. However, it is not easy for them to break open an egg. So, what they do is use their forepaws and throw the eggs towards a rock or a solid object to break open the eggs. Earlier in 1800s, mongooses were introduced in places like Hawaii and West Indies with an intention to control the population of the rodents there. They successfully tackled this problem but created another one. These mongooses proved to be a threat for the endogenous species of animals and birds. In fact, in America, it is unlawful to import mongooses, even for the zoos, because of the destruction they created in Hawaii and West Indies. Mongooses are social animals which live in packs. The numbers in a pack varies from species to species, mostly ranging around 6 to 40 mongooses in a pack. In some species, the pack usually has an alpha male and an alpha female. They lead the pack, and this couple is the only couple which can copulate to produce more mongooses. The pack or mob or gang, works as a family. Some hunt, some take care of young ones, and any one of the members stands as a guard. This guard whistles or cries to inform other mongooses of any danger, after which they take shelter in their burrows till everything gets normal again. Did you know that Egyptian tombs not only had mummified human bodies, but also mummified mongooses? The mongoose was a sacred and revered animal in ancient Egypt. Mummified mongooses have been found in ancient tombs, and there are also images of mongooses on funeral urns. In some species, the mongooses don't form any group or pack. They meet only once a year during the mating season. The male may stay and help the female to raise the pups, or sometimes it is only the female who takes care of her kids. A common question most people have is, whether these mongooses are venomous or not. To clear your doubt, mongooses are not venomous or poisonous, but they can fight venomous snakes and can tolerate a certain amount of snake venom. But again, mongooses are not immune to snake venom. Do you think mongooses are dangerous for humans? Well, no. Under normal circumstances, a mongoose would rarely ever attack a human. They are extremely dangerous, 
but only to snakes. They carry some nasty diseases, but it probably won't bother you if you don't get too close. Now the most important question you must be having is, why are snakes and mongooses enemies? To answer your question, snakes and mongooses are natural enemies because the mongoose has to kill the snake, so the snake doesn't kill the mongoose, and the snakes have to kill mongooses, so the mongooses don't kill the snakes. Basically, they each need to kill the other in order to survive, so they do hate each other. That was all about mongoose. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel, Explified.